it's really ridiculous how often that works. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, we have lots of viewers in the pipeline, so I'll let Veer run down the list for you. All right. Well, uh, you know, EAP is out finally. That was our big development in the last couple of weeks, um, which means that we have a whole lot of other viewers um, that are close to shipping and that will be uh, getting out over the course of the next uh, several weeks. Um, the next one that we're planning to deploy is uh, the the maintenance viewer, the Zerbens. Um, I think that's the next one you're going to be seeing probably next early next week. Um, and then we have a whole bunch of other stuff. We've got uh, the camera presets viewer uh, is in, is looking pretty good. Um, we've got a viewer that is incorporating FMOD Studio, which should fix one of our most frequent crashers once that goes out. Um, we've got the Love Me Render viewer, which has a few graphics changes that didn't fit into EEP and that we were holding off on shipping until EEP was done. Um, we have uh, some improvements to mesh upload, which uh, I think is close to the point where we can release it as a project viewer, but it's not ready to go out in the immediate future. Um, we've got the the uh, compiler update viewer that's, that's adding uh, VS2017 support and newer versions of Xcode, and that is also getting close. There are still a few um, bugs we're trying to get sorted there, but uh, hopefully not in the too distant future that'll be going out. Uh, we're also actively trying to get our CEF support updated. Um, we're working on a viewer that uh, should, uh, should have that um, should have a newer version of CEF and support for more types of uh, streaming video content soon. What else? Uh, build tools uh, updates is also getting close. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff. I don't know the exact order that's all going to be coming out, except that uh, the the main viewer is probably the the next thing in the queue. But uh, we're looking forward to getting a, a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, uh, kind of out in the world in the in the near future. So keep your merge muscles warm. <clears throat> uh, let's see. I don't think... Oh, I was going to check on the status of the offline, I, offline note cards problem. Let me figure that one out. I keep forgetting which release that's in. People keep asking me about it. Yeah, that's going to take a minute. Uh, so the floor is open. Topics?
Uh, question about will anything else get released, assuming uh, you pull EPN right away? Um, I guess it depends on the timing. Um, I, actually, I think the likelihood is that uh, the next maintenance release will be going out on Monday. So if, if that pans out, then, yeah, that'll almost certainly go out before uh, anything else gets uh, updated on your end. Yeah, I mean it's pretty likely that we'll be continuing to have releases every uh, every couple of weeks, um, but they're they're not all necessarily going to be things that you you know, urgently need to pull in as soon as you as soon as you can. Yeah, I don't think that we have any really urgent ones coming up. Um, getting EAP support out would be probably the most important thing we've got going right now. I mean, of the stuff you don't already have merged. Um, yeah, so we have, we have a viewer, one of our, one of our viewers that's in the pipeline has the legacy profiles work. Um, I'm not sure what the status of that is. I, I, last I heard, we were waiting for something on the web side. Legacy, yeah, yeah, I think the... I think the web I think the web stuff got done and then there was uh, an additional viewer issue that that um appeared after that change happened and I haven't heard anything since then so I'm not really sure I, I'm pretty sure it's the work is back on the viewer side but I don't know how close to resolved it all is Um, if you, if in the course of your beta cycle, you have, uh, you know, rendering issues with EAP, I mean, something that's, that also repros in our code, I strongly urge you to make sure there's a high quality bug filed about it, um, so that we can have our rendering team look at it. Um, yeah, I know, uh, but just for, for everyone's benefit, um, that stuff is, that stuff is, uh, fragile, fooling with some, you know, with things to try to make it better will almost certainly break something else. So, um. There's there's a reason why the EAP project took so long to get out. Uh, I don't know anything about the website's logging users out issue. I haven't heard. This is the first I've heard of it. So I'm, I'm, apparently I'm a bad person to ask.
Oh, with the with the the internal browser, the built-in browser, or with external browsers. Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't use the internal browser much, hardly at all, in fact. Yeah, I I have I have no idea what the what the deal with that is. Yeah, there isn't a a much updated CEF on its way. Uh, I, I, the, the build that that release notes is out there to support is for a particular event that, uh, one customer is doing that we're working with them on. Uh, it will eventually become a normal release candidate that people get randomly put into the way all RC viewers do, but that particular build won't, won't have that. Quality. It's just those release notes are there so that the uh, so that you don't get an error dialog when that when you launch the viewer. We'll have a more complete set when it uh, when it gets to uh, normal release candidate status. Uh, there, there's no reason not to file bugs against that CEF viewer. They may not get fixed very quickly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that that one is likely to be one of the next couple viewers to be released. It's, it's a little further back in the pipeline. It's possible that the that the built-in browser has got a problem with its cookie store. I don't know. That can cause that.
there is work going on 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 group chat. Um, I it is not focused on performance improvement, but it's possible that it will make some difference. We'll see how that goes. It at some point we do need a another another pass at uh, making that better, but it's it's not on the short term roadmap. Uh, well, I, I I think we're I think we're doing pretty well, um, all things considered. Uh, a, a pretty large fraction of the development team worked from home even before all this, um, and we're used to being spread around. So that part of it hasn't been a big impact. Um, of course, we're all going stir crazy as much as other people are. I'm kind of personally, I'm kind of a hermit anyway, so it's it's not that much of a big deal for me. Well, we're we're glad we're we're glad when Second Life can be a help in whatever way it needs to be. I, I do occasionally see the sun, although not lately. It's been rainy in New England, uh, but they claim tomorrow it will come out again. We'll see.
Well, y'all are very quiet today. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't have the authoritative set. I know that it won't let you type one that's, it won't let you enter one that doesn't have the right characters in it. It's basically ASCII alphanumerics, I think. Oh, for display names. Display names is different. Yes. Uh, display names uh, allows Unicode. But there are there are bugs you will tickle if you overdo it. Uh, I <laughs> yeah, Kyle could could tell you more about the edge cases than I could. Uh, I did find that um, the simulator build that the offline um, objects fix is in, and it has not yet gotten for reasons that have nothing to do with that fix. It has not gotten out of QA yet. So um, hopefully it will get onto an RC in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I I wasn't aware that anything could revert your display name. So I know that we our, our support occasionally has to do it manually to solve a problem for people, but um it's not supposed to revert. That's not a feature. So if you can identify cases of that, it would be a legitimate bug to file. Oh, well. Okay.
Open mic, I think. If we don't have any more topics, I guess we can all start the weekend or that much sooner. Yep, have a good weekend, all. Have a good weekend. <laughs>